Okay, so let's go ahead and create a face swap using Breeze FX and DSLR Remote Pro. So I'm logged into my account over at Breeze, uh, fx.breezesoftware.com, and I'm on the dashboard. So we want to come across to FX configurations and hit new FX config. So we'll give it a name. So we're going to do a basketball player uh, uh, face swap. So we'll call it basketball player demo one. Uh, we don't need to set the token, that will happen automatically, uh, though we will cover off in a late, later video uh, some more advanced uses of the tokens and how you can set that manually to control things a little bit more. And then from the drop down list we're going to select the type as face swap. So then all we need to do is go ahead and upload our target image, which is the image of the thing or the person that we want to sort of turn into or do the face, face swap of. So I have a basketball player here, I'm going to select that. We'll just ignore this uh, source image just for the moment and we'll hit the create button. Okay, so that's gone ahead and created it. Now we can come in and we can edit that and we'll see that we have uploaded the, uh, uh, the, the basketball player that I'd sourced earlier. So as it were, I actually made this with AI using Dream Studio, uh, but this image could literally be anything, anything you want. Uh, so we have that, and you can see here that it's also created a token, which you can change, but we're just going to leave that as it is for now. So now that we've done that, how do we get this into Breeze, and how, how does this all work, basically? So if we come back to our FX configuration list, what we want is this URL here, and you can copy that link there, or you can hit copy um, from the menu here, and it's going to copy it to your uh, clipboard. So we'll come across to uh, DSR, DSLR Remote Pro, and we're going to hit Advanced Settings, and then we're going to come into output settings, post process photos settings, and then we want to come across and select web based. And we want to change the URL if there's anything there to the one we just pasted. So we've got fx.breezesoftware.com, and this is basically referencing our company name and the specific configuration, which is that token. Now we have to also put the password in. So if we come back to uh, Breeze FX and just come down to settings, we need to grab this password. And we need to paste that into here as well, otherwise it uh, will not work. Okay, so once we've got that in here, we're sort of all ready and set to go. So let's jump into uh, the photo booth. And we'll just go full screen here. And we'll take, a, uh, we'll take a photo and see what happens. Alright, so that's the preview shot, and now that's sending that up to uh, Breeze FX, and it's going to process it and send the image back. Now usually this takes about 10 seconds, so it is a good idea to have uh, some sort of loading screen on here, um, just to let people know that something's happening. So there we go, so that's returned the image onto my print layout. Um, now you can see because I was wearing glasses, there's just a little bit of um, weirdness going on around the eyes, so if we were to redo that, and this time I'll take my glasses off, um, and we'll run another session. So it's going to process it again, and we should get a slightly better result because I don't have my uh, glasses on this time. There we go. So that looks a lot better around the eyes. So there you go. That's how you use Breeze FX and DSLR Pro. It's actually really easy. So it's just a case of just creating these FX configurations. So we'll just jump back in here for a second and just uploading um, any image you want. Now what we'll do in the next video is have a bit of a closer look at how that image sort of works in correlation to the print layout and a few other things that we can do with it whilst we're there. If you have any questions, just jump into the comments and let me know.